Hey, plenty good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the first edition of key NFL moves made in the offseason thus far, as I decided to do a combination video rather than doing them all separate because that's just too many moves. I do some separate videos for baseball and hockey, but baseball and hockey are my two main sports, so it's a little bit easier for me to do that. With football, not as bueno. But let's get right into it as we're going to some key moves that were made that I did not do in covering videos. I did videos on Landry, on Max Crosby, on Jason Kelsey, and etc. If you want to check those out, those will be linked in the NFL playlist at the end of this video. But please also continue to subscribe down below. Enough of often the easy juice widget to keep us growing to 215. But some key moves that were made, the Steelers were able to keep a good um, fill-in safety that's able to play some good minutes for them in, Har er, in Harmon Killebrew, in Miles Killebrew, uh, who was able to get it done for them last year in some depth capacity as well as I believe he played special teams for them, if I'm not mistaken. So they're able to bring him back as well as re-sign their cornerback, Arthur Molette. So they were able to bring back two people. And then the Texans had a solid small signing of a guy that's pretty sure with his hand can pick up some yards after the catch, which is solid mix-in receiver of Chris Conley. Then the one trade I did, the Mari Cooper trade, that was on a video that will be linked at the NFL playlist, so we're going to skip over that. The Bills re-signed somebody that seems like a perfect guy to go with Josh Allen, who can air it down the field, and Isaiah McKenzie, if he can stay healthy. He seems like a guy that can really pick up the speedster role, deep ball catcher role, and just dominate at that level. The Commanders, uh, they made a small signing, re-signing Troy Apke. Uh, that's nothing big there. And then the Patriots kept around veteran cornerback Devin McCourty, when some people thought maybe now, since he's in his 30s, he would move elsewhere. But the Patriots were able to keep him around for one year, $9 million. He's the heart and soul guy of that defense, well, one of them at least. And they were able to keep him around after they already let go of, obviously, their heart and soul guy in Vinoy. But <clears throat> now moving on, I did a video on Kirk Cousins and on Zach Ertz. Those will also be in the NFL playlist, so we'll skip over those. And I did one on Michael Gallup. So we'll skip over that move, did separate videos on those. But one of the biggest moves, and then Tom Brady coming out of retirement, also did a separate video on that. One of the biggest moves I saw made for the Buccaneers, especially especially since Brady's coming out of retirement, protection, protection, protection for a 45-year-old quarterback, is Ryan Jensen re-signing for three years, $39 million bucks. I thought that was out of all the moves, other than the moves I already recapped, obviously the Cooper move, the Gallup move, and all those could be considered bigger. But other than the moves that I actually directly addressed in this video and didn't just skip over, I believe that was the most key move out of any of the Conleys, the two Steelers signings, and all of that, because they were able to keep a guard that can really protect, or a center, excuse me, that can really protect Tom Brady, and they already have immense chemistry with his two years down there. Having great chemistry between your QB and center is very vital to having a great success rate with the offense. It doesn't seem like they're having Gronk next year, so it just seems like he wants to go to an AFC contender. So that, to me, in conclusion with this video, as we did the first edition of NFL moves around the league to recap and address, um, I'm going to recap ending on that one where Ryan Jensen, to me, is an A-plus deal because you have to keep him around to protect TB12. And then you'll probably have him for two years protecting whoever you grow into your role. And we'll see what happens there. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe with everybody. Peace out. This has been the first edition of NFL Offseason Moves Recap Part 1. Peace out, everybody.